They're going to leave us a one-star review on the podcast. Fuck. Guarantee, yeah. Now <laughs> we'll, we're down we'll, to number eight. We'll know who it is. going to have nothing to do with the hunt that we had, but this podcast sucks. <laughs> yeah. We'll know exactly who it is, too. Welcome to the Big Honker Podcast, brought to you by Pacific Calls. I'm Jeff Stanfield with the world-famous Andy Shaver. Tell me I was off again. No, Tell today, me I was off again. You are off yesterday. Big time off. I'm on that I'm on that roll, baby. Did you have to do it multiple times? No, he just likes to complain whenever he can. For sure. It was off. <laughs> kind of normal. <laughs> whenever you, whenever yeah. you're flawless, he just likes to bring you down whenever. Flawless, huh? Flawless. Mm. Flawless Jeff. Yep. Flawless. <laughs> yeah, me, I'm flawless, <laughs> not Andy. Oh, yeah, Andy was yeah. referring to himself. Sure, yeah, I know. So, I know. Yeah. With us today, <laughs> from Spokompton, Washington, boom, still the greatest place ever. <laughs> Alex and Trevor with Pacific Calls, and Jurgis and Austin is as some we're people call them. Indeed, indeed. Yep. We're just glad that I don't you know who let, calls us that. We're just glad that you let Jurgis out of the shop a little bit to have a little bit of fun. Did well, you always go on? Yeah, I figured you know one time a year is good enough, right? Yeah, yeah, you don't get at. to go very Once often, a decade. do you? No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> Why no. is that? I'm the responsible one. Mm. I understand that <laughs> for sure. <laughs> some things just don't work if you don't have everyone there, you know. Yep. And then some people cannot be gone. Do you enjoy sure. it? Because Trevor's gone all the time. Fuck I off. mean, <laughs> he takes vacations more than anybody I know. With you. That, that is true, but yeah, no, no, no. I, you're gone more than I am. Easy. You are. Not a chance. Yeah, so. <laughs> for so, like a day, but you're do, gone for weeks. Do you enjoy the shop when he's gone? Is it oh, quieter? Absolutely. A lot, get a lot more done? <laughs> quieter? No, we, and we don't get more done by any stretch Not of the imagination. Not at all. He'd make sure that everybody does what Clean they up. need to do for Pacific. I'm yep. just usually the guy over there. That's like, not true. Hey. I have learned. <laughs> I have learned. I have learned. Hey, when you're done with all these other parts, I know our parts are second right now. Please. What is, your, what is your role at Pacific? PC. <laughs> he is <laughs> politically correct. Pacific. Pretty no. much. Yeah, <laughs> that's about it. I mean, what, I mean, what, seriously, everybody's got to have roles. Like, I have a role here. Andy's got a role. Tony's got a role. Managing, what, what like, your... communications, relationships, orders, keeping. I mean, Alex and I do a lot together when it comes, like, to the marketing, to the social media, yeah. posting. You Alex sound like does one editing. of those girls that graduated from a liberal college trying to get a job. Well, I am from <laughs> I Seattle. Have a, thank I have you. a degree in socioeconomics. And, uh, it's actually natural resources, so fuck off, okay? <laughs> <laughs> socioeconomics and for, I'm a scientist. Uh, diversity, <laughs> st- diversity studies, trees. and I can't find a job. Why is that? Well, yeah, weird. Nope. So, yep, so, so I went to duck calls. So are you the marketing guy then for Pacific? Uh, I wouldn't say the marketing guy. I handle... Uh, a lot of the messages, the email marketing. But like I said, Alex and I do the posts together. He'll edit the photos if we're taking them in-house. And we'll kind of design it together. I mean, it's still 50-50, Jeff. Fuck. I'm not trying to call you out. I'm just <laughs> asking trying what your role Alex is. does more than me. I know he does. <laughs> so, like, is this where you're trying to go? <laughs> no, I, I just was like curious. I think so. it was. I so think it was. If it was. someone was writes an email to Pacific, Someone's you're the answer. Someone's got to be out hanging out with you, getting fucking screamed at, hanging out and, you know, talking to folks. Yeah, that is true. I haven't yeah. talked to you on the phone very much, yeah. if at all. But so, he talks to you a lot. I, and you know what I need? I need some mm. gloves. What's oh, yeah. Those rawhide gloves? gloves you did? Bull riding mm-hmm. gloves. Bull riding gloves. What? Is Bull that what y'all call them up north? Oh, Bull yeah. riding gloves? What did I miss? Saunders, those. We what had did- the... A couple years ago, we had the bull riding gloves, as they call work gloves, the leather, the leather, the, gloves. leather with gloves. our logo put on them. Oh, and, and, and we ran out. Happy, and so Happy asked me, he goes, do we have any more of them gloves? I said, I don't think so. I think we're out. And I said, I need to call Alex because Alex told me next time you order them that he could do them for us. Did they get done? I just told him just now again. <laughs> Did he send the fucking gloves? <laughs> yeah. No. I sent a message. That was two charge, and a half years ago. <laughs> who's in charge emails? Which you. email? No, which Oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> no, he has orders at PacificCustomCalls.com. That's out. It's called him. an alias. That's yeah, him. It's called an alias. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be like, hey, this guy's bitching on Anyways, call. I need about two dozen of those gloves done. Absolutely. Thank you. You got it. See how easy we communicate here? Oh, yeah, working crew yeah, getting exactly. the shit done. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's I'll why I said you, on this side, Andy's side. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you how it all so works out shit. when we're in Mexico on vacation while Alex is back to the shop working. Okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, he was invited by Jesse. I've invited him. Are you going to go with us this year? No. Nope. Uh, 
That's Thank in you. the That's middle. The truth. It's the truth. I'm it's not prob- wrong. It's probably the truth. There's no doubt about it. My why, wife works why? a very busy schedule. She's the breadwinner in the family, so it's up to her. She's a CPA, sure. right? Like, correct. Yeah. yeah. I CPA. appreciate someone. Whoever wears the pants in the family should make the rules. I like your way you do it. Mm-hmm. He's honest about that well, shit. A CPA can't get away in February or March. You don't have to make excuses for him. I understand but she's the boss. That's the busy season for a CPA. Busy season for a CPA. For sure. Exactly right. But she works for a bitching company. Really? Yeah. yeah. So she's, I mean, she is a certified a CPA, right? Yeah. And she works for a Vista public utility and does mm-hmm. a lot of stuff in their tax department. So, yes, she's incredibly busy. I need to send her my stuff. I would. <clears throat> she's good at it. She'll build you a nice Excel spreadsheet. What yeah. can we, what can we move around? How here? do we do this? <laughs> how do we, she's how do like, we make no. this a deductible? How, mm. I don't She's not going to bend it. No. Oh, that is not a bending. Very by the rule. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. Yep. I no. need a bender. You need a bender. You know, it's going to be funny. All of a sudden the IRS is going to be like, God damn, these fucking bartenders have been making lots of money this year. <laughs> yeah, <no laughs> people, are some, people are <laughs> tipping are some bitches now. Yeah. <laughs> if, there, <laughs> if there is no tax on tips, which I report everything anyway, because I'm a very upstanding citizen and I want to send all of my dollars to the Ukraine if I can. Mm-hmm. really help yeah. them out way to help mm-hmm. out uh, how's that going it's going well it's going well so I report all of my tips anyway but um, I, I would suggest I would I would I, you know think that if no tax on tips goes through I think you're going to see a lot more money I think it's a done deal is they say until that. he Man, comes yeah, in like is that a real deal yeah no. I think I think it's 100% real I don't mm. I think why it, why don't you think it's real? It's going to happen. I think a lot of times people say a lot of really, really cool shit on the campaign mm-hmm. trail, and then you're two years in, and you're like, huh? Oh, I'm I forgot about still, this. Do, do you it remember? Goes, it goes in tack in like 2032 do, or something like that. Do you remember <laughs> like 2016 when all of a sudden we had a president that actually did all the shit he was going to say? Mm. It's going to happen. That, no yeah. tax on tips and no taxes on Social Security. It's going to happen. Mark it down. Matter Mark fact, it. probably mm. the first day. Um, what do you? Um, we'll find out in two months. We'll see. What do y'all got new going out right now? New out for what, what do y'all have? New the biggest thing out? that we've dropped in the last couple of months is the PC24 and the 509 new update to that. So, the new PC24 is Louisiana style cut, double read, has a tone hole on it, super easy, light blowing, raspy. Um, we just wanted an easy blowing single or double read. So, it's new and, new and improved, new and improved. Yep. It's, new, it's, it's, new all together. It's, new. So it's got the old all school new. Louisiana tone board set up. So instead of being a J frame, right, which is just a, a cut read and it's got a cork that holds everything in, this is two pieces. So it's like a goose call and a duck call. It's a super old way of making a duck call. An old DR85, yeah. same setup, same if idea. I, and guess everybody wanted Cherry Pearl. Uh, I would Jade want the Jade. And, Jade and Cherry Pearl. Um, yep. Or definitely the I think the jade yeah. is the coolest call it is. That's the old Coke bottle kind of color, right? Mm, mm, no. no. That'd be more like, no, no, no. not even smoke. We don't Coke have bottle's here. completely transparent, yeah. and so the jade it is It would have a like a very, very light. I mean, if that was the true color up there, then it would not look like a Coke bottle. That is that is looking a little Coke bottle-y, but it would be it would be more transparent. Than that I like that though. That's this, a cool uh, color. The smoke, the smoke, and the clear. We haven't posted the clear yet on the website, and the that looks, looks that looks sweet. bitching. Really? Yeah. yeah. For people that are wanting custom Christmas calls, what do they need to do? Are they too late? No, no not at all. No, we uh, we're going to be running uh, our Chris- sale, the Black Friday sale here coming up, yep. and then it's okay. It's, it's okay. a family program. You cannot use that word. Oh dear God. <laughs> um, and then Friday, and then we'll. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> yeah. Fuck, I hate Fridays. How the fuck you get fired on your day off? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then the, the biggest thing will be getting your orders in. I think it was, what, the 14th we said this year? It was either the 14th or the 15th. It's yeah. basically 10 days before Christmas, and then that'll give us the weekend to process any orders that come in. And pretty much from that point on, you can still order something, but we just can't guarantee the delivery by Christmas. Yeah, I'm sure you get that, anyways, like the 22nd, and they're like, hey. We've had guys ask us hey. to overnight stuff, and it's like, dude, it is the 24th. Really like, need this for a stocking. Hey, yeah. can you drive across the country? Tree and drop this off. That'd be great. We need Santa Claus. Yeah. Yep. Always feel sorry for that fucker you see on Christmas Eve. It's walking around the stores like scratching his head. <laughs> yeah, like, Boy, oh, you put man. a lot into this. Now you're threatened. <laughs> this last hour is going to kill you. Well, that sounds like me. <laughs> that that right. Right. My dad and I would go to the mall the day before, like really? probably the 23rd. Let's buy everything for mom right now. I'm a terrible gift giver. And I really, really hate it. Like when I get a good gift, I'm like, fuck, all I got fuck, her was good. Pajamas, yeah, again, Shit, and again. socks, <laughs> yeah, and I don't even like the socks. Yeah, no, I'm horrible at it. Yeah, luckily Jesse's pretty chill about all that stuff. Oh, so. that's good. Haley it's, doesn't it's hold not, it over my head. She doesn't. No, yeah, not good. too much. But she'll be like, "Yeah, remember that ten times I said this?" And I was like, "Oh, mm, fuck. that's what you were getting." at. So I tell my mom, like, "Mom, will you listen? Start making notes. Will you listen? listen? Will you listen? <laughs> I'm she not listens. good at that part. Please listen yeah. to my wife. Yep, yeah. yeah. See what she needs because I haven't been. Mm-hmm. So I did. I did just buy her something because my mom. Thank you. I have no clue 
what usually Michelle's pretty easy. I just give her money and let her go buy it. So, well, I'm surprised on Christmas Day like she is. Oh, what'd you get, babe? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeff gets his feelings hurt though. Like when he gets a gift and he thinks it's going to go over well and it bombs. He's oh, like, yeah, I, I give up on that shit. <laughs> just because you thought it was for her, I put but you put your idea into in this. Yeah. Yeah. He no, bought a really, jacket one year. Oh, just knew it was going to be great. With, first year we were married, I bought her this jacket. Looking back now, it was jacket? hideous. Oh, it's terrible. It, print? it was from Cabela's. And it looked like some kind of fucking thing you'd win at an Indian bingo game. <laughs> But at the time, I thought it was gonna, like really going to be really cool. Hey, I was like, oh, she'll love this. And she got it. She was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like three years later, I saw her sister wearing the coat. I go, what the, the hell? Where, where'd you get the Cherokee Arapaho jacket out there? You know, it's one of one. There's not a whole lot of that yeah. in our city. I go, that looks like, like some bitch I was so proud of that I haven't seen you wear since then, Michelle. And so I don't. I mean, and it's, it doesn't matter. But then she'll go shopping and she'll get something. I'm like, yeah, fuck, if I'd have picked that shit out, you'd been like, fuck, I ain't wearing that. Fuck that. Yeah, so I have to. I'm trying to find the scandalous things. Now, you know? now yeah. I I don't even. Not even. No, I, I give her money to get what she wants. Mm -hmm. Like Smart. Kill, Kill James Patrick had a couple of dresses come out, and I really like their stuff. I don't know if you're familiar with them. It's a it's from uh, what's the New, Newport, Rhode Island KJP, and they have really cool stuff. It's Christmas. They have all seasonal stuff, and it's they have really good stuff. And Michelle wears a lot of their stuff. So I saw a couple, they sent me an email the other day, said, hey, sucker, are you going to buy your wife some presents this year? Yeah. Boom. And so I, sure enough, Andy, pull up their stuff. I am. And um, and this is the kind of stuff we get. Email so, marketing, man. Yeah. And so I get their stuff. He's going to get her that sweater right there. Oh. oh, yes. That green one. The whole family's getting it, right? Actually, she would wear that. Go to uh, women up top. Women's shop now, yes. And go to the... Uh, I'm not finding a lot that I think Shell's going to like. You haven't got to oh, the one the I bought coat. Yet. I think the oh. toggle coat. Oh, there we go. Oh. The Deerfield. Right there on the left. The skirt? And Rod, yeah, I think you can't see your mom wearing that. Yeah. yeah. Either one of those. The Christmas meadow time. skirt or that one. Yeah, well. She, what about or this the one? stroll. Yeah, 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 I like that one. I do too. Maybe I'll get that for Haley. But you know what, Michelle? <laughs> but, but, but that's the kind of shit if Michelle come in here wearing it, she'd love it. But How if I buy find this? We've been to their shop before. Oh, okay. He, he I'm does, say, he's got an Instagram. His Instagram is absolutely amazing. His? Oh, yeah. yeah. He takes the best photos. And it's funny. Me and Michelle were in San Francisco at uh, a restaurant. And we were sitting in the bar before we went in to eat. And the Helping guy, the homeless. Yep. And the guy next to us, we started talking. He was from Newport, Rhode Island. And I said, hey, do you know this Kill James Patrick? He said, well, it's actually Kyle James. He's, I went to high school with him. I said, he's an amazing photographer. And he was telling me all about him. But he's got this. he's got two or three stores. It's that yuppie, uh, blue blood, mm. stiff gent, chin kind of things. Yeah, completely not nothing. Me and Michelle grew up around, but sure, that kind of stuff. Acting like it. Yeah, we are trying to. Yeah, you can't hide. When no you roll into Mexico, it's hard to hide that. You can't hide a five fifty credit score. <laughs> 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 we got everything you fucking want. <laughs> but very fall centric. Oh and, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. He Love has it. some pumpkin on the head. Classic. He he has look at them pictures down there. That's in uh, oh, that's in Stowe, Vermont, right there. It's a beautiful place. Is that an actual cat house? Yes, it would, right? it would yep. appear so. Yep. Wow, I don't think AI has come that far. Uh, I don't know. I put a dinosaur in ours once. Did you? Yep. Halloween dream cat. Your social media is on a roll, though. I got hats off to you guys. The uh, man, it's been fun. The, 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 the viral midget, shit. The midget <laughs> jumping off into there. <laughs> Oh, you enjoy, oh, with you the water pops up? Chucky? Yes, I oh, love it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The latest <laughs> was the Chucky. I saw that. And then I just did the midget one taking the photos. Did you I see that one? I didn't see that one. <laughs> what, on what, what, That's nope. on our TikTok. What's the biggest one you've had? Like uh, downloads? Views-wise? Yeah, views. Just did one of Lester's coming in. That was like 52,000. I did one of a helicopter hog hunt we did for the Gold Star Hunt. Yeah. Almost 4 million. Jesus. Most of it was hate, though. Oh, tons of hate. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, tons views and tons. Views, man. Yeah. That's right. Did you get paid on it? <laughs> Nut dollar. Nothing. Because yeah. you had a gun? 4 million yeah, they... views and don't get a dime for it. From this year's? Yep. But now, if I'd have had some transgender, pink-haired, weird, sure. I'd have got paid for it and Changed be all over their life. Yep. Yep. But yeah, I would have. 4 them. million people. And, and it's just crazy. And then the next one, you get 2,200. You know, <laughs> algorithm really throws you for a well, loop. Fuck. Here with yeah. my family. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah. yeah, fuck my family. Yeah, <laughs> four million. Put, How I many could, kids did you have up on that helicopter? It was just the two kids were shooting, and Eric was in the back filming, and Dustin was flying, and then no, they were somebody else flying, and I was with Dustin, and we were in a helicopter, and I filmed it of them flying by, just just jacking around for a minute, oh, shit. and put it up there because it was a gold star hunt. Thanked everybody for being involved, and bam. But I couldn't believe. I mean, four million views. That ain't right. I could take an actual video if you could have 
figured a way to go back in time and time hop mm -hmm. of Jesus in the manger, and it wouldn't got four million hits on Instagram. No, <laughs> all the hate talk though. Oh, tons of got go, a good photographer on Craigslist. It, DSD and... should be really excited about this. Oh yes, right there. <laughs> Everything's super low. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. I mean, it was it was a product photo for uh, DSD. So. Right. <laughs> Creativity department really went yep. downhill, but eh, yep. maybe not. This is what we turn to. But yeah, exactly. this is what we're people, doing. People, people, need, people comment. People, people need, that's right. They need it, this shit. It's funny. Yep. It's funny. Did they get upset? I hadn't read the comments. Oh no! Just no. Short people. You're good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I haven't showed Jack yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. The Jack Pack. Justin the Hill would not. Pack. Just Justin Hill would not like this. The short people. He's undersized. He yeah. would get upset. <laughs> he's just. He's doing all that he. He can. doesn't follow yeah. us anyway. Yeah, so he, okay. but he would. Yeah, it would bother right. him. It yeah. would offend him. What did y'all? Uh, did y'all watch the Tyson fight? Yeah. What a sham. Oh man, I watched it with Haley on the. It was the first time Haley and I have ever watched like a fight or mm -hmm. anything like that. And we laid on the couch, and she was yelling more than I was about how really? dumb this was. <laughs> yeah, I fell asleep. The women I, got after I it. I lost three hundred dollars. Did you? I got two hundred. Only lost two hundred though, because Bryce had owed Blake a hundred dollars. Yeah, and so he gave it to me to give to Blake, and I said, "Nope." And Blake was sitting right there. I said, "That's a hundred bucks." Because Blake owes me seventy two thousand four hundred twelve dollars and thirty eight cents over the last eight years. <laughs> so you got some of it back. What did you think time. it was going to happen? Not counting. Do you guys think someone was going to knock someone out? I thought Tyson was going to come out like these furies that he had, and he and, looked like in the first round he's going to come out and knock his ass out. I fell asleep. I woke up. And it was the third round, and Tyson looked about like me going to the bathroom at four in the morning. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, "This is over." Just biting his glove. <laughs> yeah, I knew it was all over. So sticking his tongue out. Yeah, they said that that was like a tell, or mm. the subliminal. To what, well, there's to a Jake. couple times it's like, why are you not hitting? Right. What, like, what's going on? It was but bad. I didn't watch the pre-fights, though. Oh, you didn't? Oh, no. these Mexican the women two got, gals I got after it. The women got after it. And these two Mexican boys fought, too. Boy, they were some badasses. I, fell, I was also. asleep during that one. They done good. The women, though, I'm telling you right now, I think the the young woman weighed 130 pounds. I, you couldn't pay me no. to fight this woman. Fuck no. no. Even if she's a hundred pounds, oh, she would have beat my ass. Just, yeah. just keep me. But she was getting punched. Her eyelid was cut in half and drooping down and stuff. Mm -mm. And they kept saying she got head butted, but hell, that's one hit to the shin. I'm done. Oh yeah, she, <laughs> fuck oh that. fuck that. Kidneys, Anything, gut, yeah, titties, side she, of the chin, doesn't matter. Shoulder, yeah. arm, any of it. Yeah, yeah. she's throwing lead. Yeah. I didn't. I watched. I don't watch UFC much anymore. I, not against. I just don't really. Use, I'm not going to pay per view to watch that shit. Yeah. But that John Jones is that the black guy's his name? Yeah. He did the kicked Trump that dance? fucking guy, didn't he? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, he did yeah. like the shit out of that dude. Yeah. He, he hit him right in fucking the solar solar plexus. Old. Yeah. Now his he put his, him in different levels. His brother's a was it was a football Chandler player, right? Chandler Jones, and he said that his brother was a whole lot better athlete than he was. Yes. And then he gave Trump his deal. How much money did Jake win? Forty, 40 million. million. And Trump or Trump? Uh, fucking uh, Tyson, Tyson got twenty. Got 20. Yeah. John Jones, what, you, had to wait till, you had to wait till the eighth round? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Look at this. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, dude, that's, yeah, you're just gone. Oh. Wham. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. What did, oh. He, just, what did he hit? Right his kidneys. Just, Is that what it was? He's yep. pissing blood. Oh, right God there. almighty. Oh. That hurts me watching it. Mm. He's like, just get this fucking guy <laughs> off of me, please. <laughs> then he does your dance, Jeff. Yep. Yep, the Trump dance. Get after it, boy. Yeah. Woo! -hoo. Yeah. <laughs> was Trump there on that one? Yes. Yeah. He gives him his belt. Oh, there he is. They did, said did, the NFL players now that are all breaking on his side, the, the, the media has lost it now, the left media, because all of a sudden Trump's popular with everybody now. You're not just mm -hmm. a piece of shit racist if you like him. You're just a regular guy now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's been shot at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's accepted. Yep. Been to jail. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and with everybody that has a rap album, yeah, exactly. this point. Yeah. Fifty Cent fucking has him on his album yeah. cover. He's our first black president. Is yep. what it is. <laughs> yep. 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 Then poor Jeez. Jelly Roll, he picked a booger and ate it at the UFC. The yeah. amount of residual cocaine that had to have been in that, ridiculous. Right. Oh, oh what have Smells I got? It. What have I got? Plays yeah, that's, oh, gotta go yeah. that's gotta oh, go in. That's gotta go in there. It's it. No. <laughs> we were talking like, how cool would it have been if he'd like flick that booger on right the on Trump's shoulder. Yeah. Oh, here, let me you, get this on. Do you see the guy on the left right there? Oh, yeah. The, do you know who that is? I do not. That is the wealthiest, that runs the biggest wealth fund in Saudi Arabia. He's a crown prince. Oh, yeah. $970 billion yeah, that's is what neat. he's responsible for. And they're like, oh, my God, you know, Trump's just protecting the rich people. 
Well, no, if you're going to do business with somebody, you better do a, go business with, that with one. a guy that can buy Ukraine. Yeah, he's going to you know? do something. No <laughs> shit. Do any of y'all have Bitcoin? No. No. no? Never did it. Didn't understand it. Well, Honestly, sure it, was like, it, was just, it was just something yeah. I was like, is this real? Right. What the fuck is this? And I just, I'm not a gambler like that. Lucas Bellinger that I had ride with me today, he follows this pretty closely. So it's at 90,000 right now. One person says it's going to go to a m- three million, and the uh, another guy who's a little bit more cautious with it says it's going to go to at least eight hundred thousand. Why That's are they saying that? Like what? There's I don't no, know. There's no I don't parameters it. for it. There's I don't get it. Oh, um, he was saying you, Dubai is like going to do something. Maybe make that like an official currency or something like that. Okay. And when then it does go that, it. it's going to go crazy. Do you have it? Uh, it's a, it's a I got scared. I, I bought it and it went down. I'm like, nope, fuck it. I got my money back and I'm like, we're, we're pulling this shit out. It's two balls. Oh, no. You but know, that was at Amazon. like that was at like thirty thousand. Now it's at ninety. Yeah. So uh, I kept a hundred dollars of it in. So I've got two fifty now. Okay. And a boy, you got something. I had you got a, some skin. I had a guy try to pay me with Bitcoin here like, at the lodge. Yeah, like uh, in two thousand eight or yeah, nine or ten. Like a long time ago. Oh, like a thousand dollars too. And I was like. Fuck you! Do I look like a sucker here? Yeah, what am I, an idiot? <laughs> Cash. Oh, was was like, he farming it? Like, was he like a one of the? I don't even know how the fuck you farm. Yeah, shit. what is a Bitcoin I, farmer? A computer. It's like how they get it. Get computer. I don't. I don't I, that's the thing is, I don't. Enough. I don't understand. They Where's need, Poppy? They, he can help us with they this. Need, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> farm. Yeah, you farm. Bit- Payne like tried. Farm, right? Payne tried to explain it to me one time, and I'm like. So this shit's just down in the internet that you can just grab it up. I don't understand how. Yeah, we we'll have like little I mean, like mine sweep shit going on. Just like breaking Minecraft, 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 Minecraft run around. Yeah, little, like, like, damn like If I see a guy on the fucking beach with a metal detector, he's trying to find gold coins yeah, or something. Exactly. I got that. But, but now it's yeah. Bitcoin. Yeah, you know, it's down in you my computer somewhere. Yeah. Well, fuck, open it up. Go where's it at? Yeah. <laughs> it's so small. <laughs> but I did. I had a chance, and uh, let's say it was 2010, and I think it was earlier than that. Thousand dollars worth. It was bill was. How much money would I have now? Let's just look it up. Let's make you feel good about your day. Yeah. Let's yeah. add it on. How does that make you yeah. feel good? I wasn't though. born to be <laughs> successful, so it doesn't bother me even. I'm yeah, used exactly. To this. You're already yeah. set. I've, 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 I've you a, don't need accustomed it. to this. Yeah. <laughs> you got this life in Knox yeah. City. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to sting a little, Jeff. How much? It's 10 cents. Huh? Yeah. Do what? It was 10 cents. No, if he had no, $5,000 worth. If I, it was $1,000. Yeah, it was 10 so, cents a share. Huh? Hmm? At that point, oh, so at I that point, cents so I had ten thousand shares. Fuck me, running God a mighty crime in Italy or whatever they say. <laughs> wow, son of a bitch! Mm. You'd have been on the ground floor. Oh. you could have had a bigger podcast studio. <laughs> so if you would have done it, if you would have put a thousand dollars, my next wife would have been. If you'd have put a thousand dollars in just ten years ago, you'd have one hundred seventy-six thousand dollars right now. What would I have had then, though? Because oh, what's the shares okay, per now? Ninety thousand. I'd have ninety million dollars. You missed, Jeff. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Wait, is that is that the right math? Is, is that, that math real? Math let's, let's just okay. Let's on. take two zeros off and give me nine million. He's doing better. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if, if really you, he just fucked up. If you did a hundred dollars <laughs> in Bitcoin in two thousand ten, you would have seven point nine million dollars. So yeah, your math's right. And yeah, he would have. <laughs> oh. your, your math is on, right on. Hey, I made you a call the other day. I gotta fight over this. I gotta fight over this guy. Where's that? this fucking dude at? Hey, dude, where's some fucking bitcoins you told me about? You owe me <laughs> ninety million dollars. Gosh, almighty! You passed oh, it up. You just said no, fudge. thank you. What an idiot! I would have guy. That guy. But let's be honest. You. What's bad? Is I would have traded it some bitch in the next day for a thousand dollars. Exactly. Thousand dollars is now worth like seven fifty. So good job. Mm. Mm. No, that's okay then. It's okay. Yeah. It's fine. Hey, look where you're at. Yeah. Yeah, but no, no shit. Look where I'm at. <laughs> you're right, though. Like, you would have... I would have never kept it. You would have never kept Why? it Especially for in 2000, Well, first of all, 2011, like, first of all, when it got to $1,000 for 10 cents, I'd be like, fuck, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I fat. got $100,000, buddy, <laughs> yeah. yes. Yeah. I am done for the yeah, year. That's, <laughs> that's one of those things, like, it's better to have it and forget that you have it. And yeah. then, like twenty years later, like, oh fuck, oh, oh 90 was, million. What what was my password again? Oh yeah. shit. <laughs> okay. Like, well, there was a Fraser movie, movie right? blast from the past, where he like oh, right. yeah. I have all these stock yes. options. Like you have Polaroid, <laughs> Apple. Like holy <laughs> shit. It's a gold mine. IBM, IBM and Xerox. Yep. <laughs> my uh, my dad worked with an old fireman, so this would have been. I remember this old man. His name was Slats. This would have been the early seventies, mid seventies, and right. He was he was an oil dabbler. Always wanted to be in the oil business and just never, ever got good. But he had a place that knew that it was going to have oil on it. He just knew it, knew it, knew it. 
and but he didn't have the money to get somebody to drill on it. Didn't have the means to it, and he sold the thing for two hundred dollars and two colored TV sets. They what year? A, they hit oh 1976. But they hit, which which was probably back then was accum- to get in a thousand dollars. Sure. And in 1976, a thousand dollars like five thousand now. Didn't have nothing. That guy, they hit three thousand barrel of well day day wells on it. In oh. in like 1980, when oil went up to forty dollars a barrel, which was unheard of at that time. Oh no. So and he told dad. Dad saw him one time, and he was telling dad about it. And he said, "Dad's man, that sucks." Because you know I've had a good life. He goes, "I just hated for my wife all the things she could have had." There's a lot of you know. She got a color TV. He was gonna make two, two, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But he was been Back making. Then. But he would have been making ten, twelve million dollars a year. Right. <sighs> Not bad. right. No. That so neat. some people just aren't meant to have money. Nah, I damn sure I guess ain't no. ninety million freaking dollars, boy. I would be like, uh, we're taking the jet tomorrow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You want to hey, go to my island? Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, if I had that kind of money, I'd have a fucking jet. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. telling. I would. I would be. Well, you, you is, 90, is ninety million though enough to like just well you can have a you jet. can go buy yeah. you, I mean, you can go buy you can go buy a jet for um, yeah you eight, make, to, eight to eleven yeah, million. Right. Yeah. I mean, if you had ninety you million, 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 you just like have it in your you'd have ten case. million dollars a year and just in invest. I mean, just mm-hmm. if you put it in a small, you'd get ten million a year. I would. I'd be like, that's why my wife is the CPA. Oh, right. right. oh shit, that's we, right. we got to go to Walmart and Stanford. We're taking the jet. You know what? Let's just go to Fayetteville to the home of Walmart. Let's go there. Yeah, I like their snacks. Yeah. It's much better. Yeah. Much better produce. My yeah. grandkids would be freaking rotten if I had that kind of money. Grand grandkids. I mean my grand well, my kids would be too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Andy wouldn't be doing this shit right he now. He would he would just <laughs> like I'd have to live vicariously through my kids because he'd spoil them, but just like you're still picking up the trash. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hey, we're taking the kids to Disney World this weekend. Oh, can, cool. can you watch the house and the dogs? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're in charge of Amos and Ollie. We're <laughs> we're taking the grandkids. <laughs> we'll be back next month. Yeah. We're going to um we're Nikki going to this over. Nassau. Yeah, we'll be, going, we'll be going to the Bahamas. But we just, man, could you imagine that kind of lifestyle to have that kind of money? I, I wonder if he's still got that $1,000. I don't know. You know I what would, mean? I, I'm going to be honest, 100% honest. If I had that kind of money, like right now, if, some, if I hit the lottery tomorrow and I won that, and we got a guy here at the, at the Powerball. One of the guys How much here, did he win? Like $14 million. What? He told me no, he, he didn't win that. He won like three or four hundred thousand dollars or something. He didn't okay. hit that. I think he won a million dollars, and I think after taxes he got. I don't even know if it was a million. I think it was. Cl- I think it was like three quarters of a million or something. Yeah. I and didn't then ask. taxes. Yeah. And I didn't ask. Good guy, but and I'm he's glad from, he's from our yeah, kind of our area. Somebody like him to win is a nice man. He's a really good person. But he didn't hit. He didn't have the Powerball or something like that. He, he was off by like one number. Like he I had think. the five numbers, but not the Powerball yeah. or something. Oh. But if I want, if I won that money, I'd still be doing. It. I love what I do. Mm-hmm. I mean, y'all would be in the car business. Mm. You might not be dabbling with real estate. Mm. Mm. You're oh, right. No, I'd be dabbling with real estate. I'd be buying all the real estate. But you, yeah. but you would. But I wouldn't be. I bet you'd be in the call business. Like oh, for sure. I mean, you love what you do. Love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's something that we'd always want to continue as far as meeting more people, seeing people. I mean, it, it, this is the enjoyment. Not just working at the shop and building a product that we think rocks, but coming out and seeing you guys, coming out to the show, seeing just the folks. Like I. Like that fills me up. I love just that. the folks, boy. You talking about just putting yourself folks. up a little bit higher? Mm-hmm. Oh, the fuck. peasants down yeah, there. Exactly. I didn't say fucking peasants. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll mention All that tonight. Little people out tonight, there. Yeah. tonight at dinner, I'm Perfect. bringing everybody that's a sponsor out. I hated that Buck left, but I was fixed from Dirty Duck. But I was. I'm going to introduce everybody tonight, and I will mention the peasant word. Prom- I nice. promise you, I will. Nice. Yeah, so that's, that's how I put it. This one, is where Jeff goes <laughs> down that dark hole the wrong way <laughs> that I didn't say. You know what the peasants told me last night? <laughs> they said the exact words were, "Who's your peasant?" He goes, it is so cool to be around all the people that, that y'all talk about, y'all sponsors and stuff. He goes, y'all like all just talk and visit. I said, yeah, we're friends. We're, we're, we, it's not a business deal. We're friends because we, we just all have the same likes and dislikes. But, well, not all dislikes, but all the same likes. I go, we enjoy that. He goes, it's really cool just to see everybody in a normal situation. I said, yeah, they're all normal guys. Every, most everybody in the waterfowl hunting business had a passion for waterfowl. They wouldn't be in the thing. I mean, that's what they love to do. For sure. Oh, wow. I mean, so that's why. You got to carry that. Yeah. But, but I will make sure to mention that you for sure. Yeah, the way you good. look down on people, mm. Sir Trevor. Thanks. Yes, the people. Yeah, yeah. the people. Do yeah. I have a rug thrown out? <laughs> I'll ask one of them to be the rug thrower okay, for you. Thanks, I appreciate that. You Tony, were. I want Tony. You Red were carpet. tuning calls out there for everybody though. So yeah, Alex was instructing a couple. We we're tuning in. Man, Working men of the people. Shit. Hey, man, we don't stop. Well, I know people. Alex is a man of the per oh people my God. because I saw Alex <laughs> give a little boy a call at the Squad Fest. Fucking one time. That well, I, not I've me. never like, seen I, one I didn't give shit away at all. When did you do that? Alex does. A, I will say Alex is a hell of an instructor, like way better than me and does a good job. Where I'm not arguing. Okay. The way better part. Alex, I'm way better partner. Hey, cheers. You did qualify for the world, though. 
He yeah, didn't. He did. I know he didn't. Okay. Like, you're Damn, just going to throw him up. Quick. Yeah. Fuck. You know, I was like, God, I, he's, I one, get for that, he's one of the people, oh. you know, he's, exactly. that's, he's your work. People. He went to yeah. the contest. If, yeah. had to hold the if he was there, down. if he was there, it would have been next and neck. He would have won. If it makes you feel any better oh, really? when we were but in Minnesota, to too. I, got I told Alex, <laughs> I go, listen, Alex, don't fuck up. You do not want to be second best at Trevor. I called him, I called him deuce even. I said, there's no second one. I was like, fuck, Jeff. When was that? In Minnesota at game fair. Oh my God. Confidence. Yep. I need to have Reese bring his call out because he's wanting to learn a new note. Oh, boy. So I'll send over Alex. Alex is is good with kids. uh, I have three of them. He's got the honk down, and he's like, Dad, can I learn another note? And I'm like, spit note, Dad. Give me the spit note. He's the starvation army of the calling world. Gives to others. Gives. Yep, for sure. I'm like, I'm so tired. And I'm not a good teacher. Wait, did you say salvation army or starving? Well, (laughs) starvation (laughs) army is what I call them. Make this note. That's what my dad told me. Make this note. Just do this. Do this. What the fuck does that mean? Right. I was glad. No, you're doing it wrong. I I was glad I taught him the honk. I was like, that's sweet. Air down, up, tongue. That's the start. That's where you got to go. Yeah. You know, of all the the people here, you know, I've really enjoyed, besides you two, really Mm -hmm. visiting with a lot. I've really enjoyed David with Ducks Unlimited. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Me and David, David and Jimbo are phenomenal people. Great people. And David, me kind of the same age. I'm a little older than he is, but just enjoy the same kind of. We respect and appreciate the same kind of stuff. But those two, like traveling and hunting together, like you can see their friendship or relationship, and yeah. like they have a good time together. Yeah, yeah. The, and it brings just like that much more to the blind. They're very good ambassadors for Ducks Unlimited. Hundred percent, very good people. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the Kamala Harris call y'all did. <laughs> as, a, as a diehard Trumpster, this is really show it to the camera, Jeff. Okay. Show it to your camera. You got to read the back. This call was. Sent to me by Michelle Bronson, care of the boys at Pacific. It says, white dudes for Harris. I am Italian, but put I that can on be a white lanyard. dude. I don't have a lanyard. Well, put it I'm going to put this. It's going gonna, gonna to go in my shelf. With an, and I actually have gotten two gifts from y'all this year. A, a gentleman, Mike Kirk, gave me a call also that y'all did for their Ducks Unlimited. Oh, nice. did Pacific did this. I think it's the same call, too. Uh-huh. It's another room. Jeff nice. gets all the gifts. Yeah, she all called right. up and she I wanted get to do this. Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, like, people are smart. It is Jeff. He answers the phone when you when you call the lodge. I'm the only one that answers the phone. Yeah, yeah, you know, they talk to I, Trevor. I they know Andy. Trevor. I call Andy. Yeah, I quick. think I've been asked four yeah. or five times. Like, how is it working for Trevor? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty awesome. You're down with the people. That's why <laughs> they just think you're a people. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> How's Trevor as a boss? Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. That's not like that. Perfect. <laughs> what is, it, what you is that? Alex a raise. Is that the? Oh yeah. <laughs> Both of us. Is that your double read? Is that what that what you did? Yeah, it's a double read on there. Yeah, Michelle called up and she wanted, she got a hold of the shop and the guys called me and they're like, hey, they say that you know Jeff obviously really well and she wants to do a prank on Jeff and Andy. And I'm like, well, what would you like to do? Mm-hmm. She's like, I don't know. Can you come up with it? I was like, well, Andy's afraid of snakes. Mm-hmm. So that's all about, that's what I got. Yeah. And she's like, I don't know what we can do with snakes. So I was like, well, give me a week Thank God, so. nothing. And then, you know, obviously the election was coming up and she's like, what about like something with Kamala? And I was like, like we don't bring politics into our company. Like right. we don't. We just don't midgets. Just, just midgets. midgets. Yeah. yeah. And we uh, the fringe people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and so she she was all about all about Kamala on that thing. And she's like, can we make it sound like Kamala? And I was like, it's not. Sorry, it's not like an e caller. Right. I just press the button, her voice comes out. Let's hear it, Jeff. Let's hear you. It's close. Kill ducks with it. Yep. Yeah. It'll kill. But she, uh, we found some artwork. Slap it on there. Looks you know, good. They're in an uh, American flag bag. Yeah, it's, I, I will put it up, but we'll go up on my shelf forever. Let's hear your hail call. Let's hear, let's hear that hail call. Andy knows ball. I can't do let's that. Let's hear that high ball, Jeff. What's the high I'm, ball? Like? Andy's making fun of me because I'm not a very good duck I'm not caller. making fun of you I can chatter, and that's it. Oh, there See, he can blow it. I didn't. Flows. Listen, everybody. If Jeff can blow this call, you can blow this call. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> And speaking At, of blowing, Kamala Harris. Hey, <laughs> we will not Comes put with her the face. pads with everyone you buy. <laughs> nice. Ask for ask for Jeff on your next duck hunting adventure. Yep. Exactly, get it's him, gonna be a good show. Get him Jeff out be there. my guide. Yeah, <laughs> we heard what he can do on a call. Like he's just sandbagging everybody. Yep. Yep. I'm coming back. You got to hear, hear me on the goose call. I want to hear on the spec call. No, I'm. T- I can't blow a goose call at all. I wouldn't even try. The best part How'd you is do it back in the day. Not, uh, I flagged. Flag. Yeah. And hunted the X every day. I wasn't hunting the X. It was gonna be a long day. But this is the best part. Not only that, she sent me a book called The Achievements <laughs> of Kamala Harris. And in the book, it shows all the achievements of Kamala, and there's nothing in there. Empty. <laughs> Empty. She brought that to the shop to show oh, us. I love that. Is yeah. she from around there? She's then? a hoot. Yeah, yep. she's just up the street about 10 minutes. She's, oh, okay. Her and her husband are coming deer hunt. Oh, mm-hmm. oh. oh. Well, I, 
I think he knows he's coming deer. Yeah, he No, has, no, he, he knows because he came to the shop too. Yep, they, oh, okay. she bought a deer yeah. hunt for him. Very nice. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! Very Merry, nice lady. Merry Christmas. We're going yeah. to Texas. <laughs> yeah. When did they come down? Yeah. Uh, December 26th, I believe. I think that's what it is. Right after Christmas, they'll be here nice. for a couple of days. How yeah. do you teach somebody to a belly call? Because I didn't have anybody teach me. I just kind of hoot, 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 monkey, I mean, monkey fuck my way to making a sound on it. It's yeah. very difficult. There was an old boy, not it came to say an old boy, but a guy in uh, the Oregon Waterfowl Festival. And he just looked at me and he's just like, just go hoot, hoot, hut, hut. Hoot, hoot, hut, hut. Yep. And so I, that was like kind of the way that yeah. I did it. But there was no one else that was killing. Like we don't kill specks in our area. Right. It was just going up to Alberta and just listening to the bird and, and understanding like just the yodel and the cluck. Right. And then you can start mixing up your tones and. Because um, a lot of it's back pressure too. Tons. Like you got to have your hands right. Your hands That's the biggest perfect. piece yep. of it. Teaching somebody like a trade show, anything else, they're trying to learn from scratch. It's if you can understand the pressure and getting your hands right, yep. and I can get you to break that reed over and achieve even just the most god awful sound. You can yep. start putting it together. Pretty it's quick. the most annoying thing to start someone on because they, we tell them to like blow in the <clears> call <throat> with your hand wide open and then start closing it, it and then the, once you close it down to the point where that reed breaks over. Then that's where your hand is. You place that, yeah, and yes. everyone's just like, ah! and yeah. then they finally well, figure involuntarily out. when they start closing their hand, they also start reducing their, pressure. and so they don't get right. it. But they don't like, get it. And they keep just keep blowing, <laughs> right? Oh, like and they're a, like, yeah. no, 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 you got to push harder, and they're yeah. like, yeah, <laughs> they're like, no, put your hand down. It's just they go up it, and down. Yeah, it's it takes a while. But. It, it's it's kind of like a double clock. Like kind of once you feel it. Yeah, you've got it. Yeah, if you can roll it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You roll I, that. I learned how to do a triple clock because I could yodel. Let me Correct. see the back oh, of your right. shirt. Yep. Turn around. I thought that's what it said. Merganser. <laughs> that's a Budweiser off deal. That's great. <laughs> that is a badass shirt. What's he got? It's a Merganser. It's like a Budweiser. Come on in here. It's a combat waterfowl shirt. Look at the back of this. I love this. Oh, they got some good shit. Oh, yeah. Merganser. King oh, of I Ducks. Seen that. That's, that's great. Pretty, that's <laughs> Short awesome. on taste, yeah. long on style. <laughs> <laughs> we had. Uh, <laughs> what? Ridiculous. <laughs> Okay. One of the one of the guys that's here uh, to d this week, Matt Sullivan, that mm -hmm. was next to me. He made the Shitka apparel line. What? Oh god! And he got oh, oh he him? got big trouble over he there. Got a lot, he got a lot of that's trouble. A, that's a real big <laughs> the t-shirt. The girl laying down. Oh no, that was set on my. That was a set on my face. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember what it was, but it was Shitka. Shitka. He Shitka. sold a bunch of stuff. Yeah. He's like, I got a pretty lengthy uh, email <laughs> from their attorney. <laughs> no <laughs> shit. <did>. He like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Not only likeness, but defamation. Hey, but we well. changed like, the logo oh. by 15%, so fuck yeah. off. <laughs> yeah, he was like, I didn't realize that you had to change things so much. And he's like, basically, I just added an H to Sitka. And that wasn't, the, I didn't meet that threshold or whatever it is. He, he, was, he, he wrote him back. He was like, how about we just talk chalk this one up to bad judgment on my part and go about our day? <laughs> I was trying to make a quick dollar. My bad. I actually wear your shit. <laughs> he, was, he was like, you can sue me, but you're not going to get much. He's like, let's just chalk this up to bad judgment. <laughs> That's funny. And then he was like, do you just want me to send you everything else that I got in inventory? Because obviously I can't do anything with it. You want me to burn it and I'll send you the video? Send you the video. This is the motherfucker. This yeah. is, yes, yes, that's the guy. Yeah. That's yeah. a good story. He, he's... Uh, <laughs> He uh he asked he put he said do you mind if I put these up to sell on the podcast page I said no it's not a swap shop and I said and I looked at it, I said oh hell no you're not doing that you're gonna get cause me in the middle of your lawsuit here. yeah no shit yeah that so, would be interesting there's a few of those though like, I mean shit well, coolers one the of them they also had shitty coolers and it was the Yeti yeah. logo but it was well what's the newest shitty. one around I was like shit on my or it's not shit on my face but sit on my face one with like there's like a woman on it it's like in the middle of S and I I believe it's brand like, it's brand new oh really yeah Man, guys are hitting it. hard on TikTok. And then, like, I he was like, I just pulled some dumb tribal logo off the internet, and he was like, it was theirs. <laughs> he was like, that would have been came out. He was like, that would have been really bad if I'd have put that on there. I think our buddy made us barrel stickers. Mm. For, uh, like, didn't copy his idea, but right. copied that idea. Sick for it. Mm, close. Mm. Shitka. Shitka. Yep. I guess the gun deal's going away now with the Louis Vuitton and the Wonder Bread and all that stuff. You don't see much of that anymore. Custom gun dips? Those, that, yeah, I'm going to do something with one of my guns here soon. Our buddy just started working for a, a gun company, and I want to do just something wild. I don't know what it's going to be. It could be like a thousand duck heads on it, mm -hmm. you know, something a little, little flashy like that. Dumb, but I don't know. I beat the fuck out of my gun, so it's not going to last. How long do those dips last? I don't know, but like that gun rubbing on the end of your blind or 
That's still an amazing thing how they do that crap. Dip them. I just I don't understand how that works. They spray the stuff in there and they, they and just it comes drop back. it in and it's like oh it's perfect. Pull it out like yeah. a transfer sheet and it lays the whole thing over and as long as you dip slowly that image will just wrap around whatever you're slowly dipping in there. Mm -hmm. so you he explained it to me it, more than sure. anything because I've watched it. it and I'm like we had some calls. Yeah, I mean done if you were to just take that ago. gun and go Bloop, and yeah. dip into it, you yeah. rip right through the image. So you have to like slowly lay it in. Like if you turn it a certain way, then that will you know that water will push that image against it a certain direction for like stretch and it's it's pretty cool to watch could you do. imagine whoever come up with that the first time though yeah. they were putting right. image in the water their wife was like what are you Otis, in our tub? get your ass to bed this is a waste of time <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna put nothing in water and get nothing to stick the what fuck are you out doing of our tub. Hydro, yeah. <laughs> yeah but it's, it's amazing what they can do with them that's pretty cool mm -hmm. i want to do something something what do you want to do i don't know so i don't so know Trevor, I don't what do you want to do i don't know what i want to do peasant yeah. duck heads do your duck, duck heads i think the duck heads would be fun yeah we'll do one I just don't know which gun to do it on. Like, I want to do it on my dad. I don't want to do it on my dad's Benelli that looks like shit right now. Mm -hmm. Just like I, I would like to leave that just that SB1 original rusted beat up. You look need to do that and put it on your wall from, a, from an Austin. Put it under your on, I on shoot wall. that fucker all the time. Well, then don't do that then. Mm -mm. Maybe I'll do it on my Max's. There you That's go. That's probably for just cover it up. Cover it up. Let's see if it holds. You don't need the camera. What are you going to do? Be just like the regular hey, people. Because Alex is going to give us a hell of a deal on these. Nap. I, oh, nap. I was like, <laughs> not I'm you. Not, I don't, you're I'm not, not doing, doing it. it. We're not <laughs> opening up that. We already got fucking baits going Too many on. Other things microwaves. Going on right now. Yeah, exactly. What? Yeah. Baits? I don't know. I, I should When you have it. like two mills and don't have a, a little bit of extra time we on your hands, so yeah, you much design shit fishing going on in the mills. Crazy crap. We have so much shit going on in the mills, Aerospace but we're, stuff, we're, making on, we're making fucking baits right now. Yeah. It's super cool. That's like, why I was excited when On them was here. Little Matt Rock. If you're making money on them, there you go. Check this out. No, 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 no. It's very prototypey. Yep. Maddie's a funny son of a gun, boy. Enjoy the Hilarious. show. Hilarious. He is a great dude. He Hilarious. really enjoys it. We called his mother in law today. She's not a fan of Jess. I heard that you were saying some shit. I didn't say shit. I just said she was kind of controlling. And she took that, that I really meant she was controlling. And I, and I was. Most moms would probably she take was. that that way. Most moms are pretty literal. So yeah. he, he finds it kind of funny. So we, sure. so we FaceTimed her today. <laughs> this is not the first time you talked to her? Since I told her she was controlling. <laughs> Did she say hi, Jeff? I don't think. I don't, I don't think, think so. No, she scratched Weird. her nose with her middle finger, kind of like this. I don't know what that kind of meant, but choice. Why words. are you on the phone with this yeah. asshole? We so we, we do we. He's like, let's Facetime her. <laughs> Colleen's like, Perfect. Matt, no, 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 I can't do yeah. this right now. So, no, uh -uh. I'm but, out. Yeah, but Matt and Willie and Colleen, they're good people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I've had a good time. I've really enjoyed everybody that's been up here at Boston. It's been a really good time. We've had it. We've had a lot of fun. It's been a good time. We appreciate yep. you guys. Would you want to have to wrestle freaking Buck from Dirty Duck? Whew. Fuck no. Hell no. That sucker squeezed the breath out of him. I want to see him do an arm uh, arm wrestle. Him and Willie could have. He's a Buck stout. God almighty. I know. I'll tell him, I said, if, like you keep I said, if you keep working out, bud, you'll be looking like me before long. Keep it up. <laughs> That's an adult XL and it looks <laughs> yeah. like that, man. Nah, that sucker's <laughs> swole. He's swole, boy. Yeah. I yeah. wonder how many cold plunges he does. Mm. I need to do. I, I, if How that's what, that? if, if I that's didn't see what it on your gets. Instagram today. It was there. It was. Yeah. Andy, remember. this summer was getting Every kind morning. of bulky. You can tell you ain't worked out in about three or four months. I know. Well, that's why I've I was like, man, do I bring a medium or uh, is it a large now? I've lost. A, I've lost a lot of weight. Or I lost a lot of muscle mass since uh, season started. But yeah, I do. I do my cold shower every day. No, it feels good. Reese boy's does. going to jujitsu all the time now. He is. Is he enjoying it a lot now? He is. Yeah. Good. Is that close by? Huh? Is that close by? Yeah, it's in Monday. It's in twelve miles away. We drove through hmm. that. Is yeah. that where Zach goes to? Sometimes. Zach does a lot just in Throckmorton. He's actually, um, I mean, I guess I can say this. He's been training with Dale Brisby a lot. No. Oh. Dale Brisby uh, lives 20 miles away from Zach. Hmm. So just goes over there every morning, right rolls on. around with the Cowboys, and then goes save lives in the afternoon. Really? Zach's really good. Like, well, I feel like he he's got, always competing. He got, he got screwed in nationals big time. He where was that at? Vegas. Vegas. Mm. They... Uh, so he got an escape, and you're supposed to be rewarded points for that, and they did not give him points for that. They gave it to the other person. But then instead they gave it to the other person, and then like there was some mix-up with... There was like no protocol in place to like challenge a ruling. So he said something to the ref. Ref was like, hey, don't talk to me. Go to the table if you have a problem. So he went to the table, because there's a ref, and then there's like three people there. He went to them, and they said, you need to go in the back and bring your coach, and then they'll sort it out. So he got his coach, went back there, and they're like, no, you got to do it at the desk right away. We can't overturn it back here. Like, you have to do it there. So it was just basically like, damn. 
Sorry for your luck. Come back next year. And then year. the guy won and got, I guess, he got second nationals. Yeah. Oh, so no Zach got shit. screwed up, maybe being a national champion. Damn. That's rough. All scoring's fucked up. It doesn't matter what you're in. Doesn't matter what you're in. No. Football, whatever. We should have won that two man in Texas. We should have. Yeah, with my fucking lesser call. Yep, exactly. Well, they the two, you didn't have the BA yet. Was that blowing the 206? 206. Yeah. So there was like four yeah, teams and y'all, y'all were, 14, y'all were in top. 14 there was, teams. There was 14, what? 14. Huh? Yeah, they all dropped first round yeah. and he made a we, top four. Yeah. What we should have done yeah. is... Y'all, got, y'all, got, y'all, got, y'all did make top four out of four, four though, right? Four, yeah, 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 that's yeah. pretty good. Top six. four out of yeah. four, we baby. Sh- we should have crinkled a beer can right when we were going to walk on Drop stage yeah, yeah. or cough. Yeah, I've just burped real loud. Yeah. You know what the funny thing about it is? is There's four teams there and, and the winner is... Yeah. <laughs> and they, they start at... at In they, third they place. They start at first <laughs> and they name somebody and I thought, well, good to hell, they're going to make second at least in the second... <laughs> And then, way down. and then at third, they gave third, and that's the last deal. And that was into that shit. They didn't, even, they didn't even say who they were. <laughs> we got to first place, and like they hadn't called our name yeah. yet. And Trevor and I are like, maybe no. we did it. Yeah, yeah that's what Holy they did. Shit, that's what they chance. started with third. So I thought, hell, yeah. they got second. Yeah, they you might know? make it. Second, and got second. Shit, they're gonna win this son of a bitch. <laughs> and yeah. four. Uh, do it for the people, Trevor. Do it for the people. <laughs> I stepped out on that stage barefoot for some dumb reason. And that was the hottest fucking stage I've ever stepped on. I don't in my think it's life. for dumb reason. I think it was for Michelob Ultra. It was grip. Yeah, yep. <clears throat> I needed that grip and that back pressure. Have y'all ever thought about like putting a no drinking clause in when y'all work these shows? Why? No. I just was curious. For I mean, who? I mean, I, for the public. Oh, why? No, we get they, they don't buy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, yeah, they don't buy us. Every much. kid gets free beer with a call. <laughs> yeah, exactly. fuck. Yeah. Get your dad drunk. That's what that kid was doing on the corner. He was shooting, shooting tequila, and Alex was teaching him how to call. <laughs> After three shots, we he was pretty good. They worked real good at yeah. that. Loosen up through a little the call. bit, but. Yeah. It's like what? a beer, beer bong <laughs> challenge. Beer bong. So is Stefan, is he working much lately at the shop? No. He hasn't. It's like three years. So Stephon's doing do y'all see him very often? Oh, all the time. Every day. He sees him every day. Yeah. Talk to him. I see Stefan when he comes to the shop. Yeah, when he swings by, you know, he tells everyone how good they're doing, and then distracts them for a good half hour, and then you know he is still very much on. so, as he says, self-appointed. What is it? HR. CEO of HR. It's yeah, like, man, I don't know about that. But, yeah. I figured he'd be flying down to hang out with Shanahan here pretty quick. Oh, oh. I, he doesn't shoot that well, so Shanahan probably just beat him up. There you now go. y'all don't like it when he stops by the shop. Very distracting That's to the me. workers. That's me. That's- that's me. Oh, I yeah. can see. You don't see that? Oh, no, I do. There's people that come here like that all the time. Mm-hmm. Where are me the out? Well, it was like every fucking every other day. Really? Yeah. Just it's like, because well, the shop everybody. was right next to our houses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm like, dude. It's a lot further out there. I love you. But you got to find off. some other hobby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, just because you're on your way home doesn't mean you have to just swing by for a beer. <laughs> just, just, just leave. see what y'all were doing today. Let's be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. Most, check. most workplaces just don't have beer. That's not like a common I thing. You know? We have beer. We have we're beer not here? a normal we're not a normal workplace either. We have beer, whiskey, vodka. Well, but if we were found the whiskey, if we were doing heavy you? machinery, yes. we wouldn't be doing that. It's not that heavy. Neither. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't try to lift it. So like, <laughs> <laughs> that's you, hit the we button. have a green button and a red button. <laughs> do you drink at work like you do, like in your social deal? Like do you, you used to? Do you? Uh, <laughs> well, no, I, I, yes, I, I won't like let. Yes, we drink it. Drink at work periodically. It is not sure. like a. Ah, oh, it's eight thirty. What's up, guys? <laughs> Let's black out. Well, I, yeah, that doesn't happen. One of my fondest memories of you is at Turkey Fest in um, Nashville oh, two oh, years yeah. ago <laughs> when you come up oh. and sit down at a table with me and Michelle. And you oh, go, God. excuse me, I got to go puke. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a horrible story, but like the NWTF has the call makers contest, yep. right? So I went down there, brought a couple of calls with me, and they entered me into two different categories. I didn't know what the categories were. I had no idea. I was just like, yeah, man, whatever we got to do. So. Hang out all day long, doing things with that. Go back in, and one of the judges walks up and he goes, "You are going to be incredibly happy." And I'm like, "Oh, oh, dude, oh, okay, cool." Like, did, did I did I do well? He goes, "We're tallying up best to show right now, bud. Like, it's good." And so I'm thinking to myself, like, "Holy shit, I'm like right. up in the top running with the top dogs. We got RM, we got CNS, we got these guys that like, oh man, I'm I'm in the running. Like, this is sick." Go out, see the guy at the bar, and he's like, "Dude." You did it. You won. I didn't even look at anything. I pop up online in the one category. It says winner, my call number. So I just start talking mad shit. <laughs> and I'm throwing down shots. I'm just going like, I'm, I'm that meme where the guy's, you know, popping the champagne bottle, double fist. He's biting the metal, but he's in third place. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, that was me. So I roll up the next day up there like, I'm going to get my Conor McGregor strut mm-hmm. on. Let's go get my trophy. She hands me the trophy in his first place amateur division. 
Oh, <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> I go back and I'm literally just defeated. And immediately the hangover kicks in. I'm like, I'm going to go throw up. And then I'm on my way back after walking through the parking lot, aimlessly throwing up between random Mazdas. <laughs> to see Jeff and Shelly's like, this is my wife, Michelle. I'm like, <laughs> Let me I'm on so your drunk fast. still. <laughs> like, oh, it was bad. It so was bad. How so. did you get put in the amateur division? Do you have to have wins already? No, I, I have no idea. I, I didn't pay that much attention. A win I is a win. Yeah, no I shame. mean, I was stoked. Hey, I, I hung that gold medal up. <laughs> yeah, but it was so. I mean, the whole you thing should do a T-shirt it. on that. <laughs> Winner of the amateur. You division. should amateur <laughs> amateur hour. You're helping out. But it was, it was we the people's yeah. champ. We the people. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. And I, mean, I, was, I, was, with, I was with Rutledge. Like, I His parents won. were there in the booth, <laughs> and they're just like, "Jesus, Zach, you work for this guy." And it was like, uh, "Oh no." It looked good for a day. It looks oh, good. Dude, I was on cloud nine. Metal, metal. metal. is great. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's what, looking that close at the what, writing. What's your favorite show that y'all go to? Not not on sales. Recently, just, recently, just not on sales. Just the. Uh, Oh, camaraderie and the good man. time. Well, it would have been Game Fair, but Game Fair was always a really good one. Yeah, yeah, that was that was that was probably the top. I mean, just getting everybody over to Gavin's house, doing the parties, God. going to the bars. Yeah, that was always fun. The for amateur us. boxing night. Yeah, that was great. And then we I did the, the obstacle course the next year. Yeah. Like we're just into it. We had fun. Yeah. No, I mean, that, I think that was that. I, I felt like I Delta was in... now is probably taking over. I'm excited to see what Ducks brings. Because it's going to be a similar style show where you're going to have all the people coming from that same, I guess, all the same vendors going over yeah. into a different area. And I don't know, Little Rock was badass. I had that fun in Little Rock when y'all... That, that scooter racing? You know what? That's the best. I had some guys from Little Rock here the other day, and I said, I told him, I said, listen, I'm not a big sushi guy, but that sushi that was restaurant good. was as good a place. Drew's dad, that was... That, that was, was a vicious. very, very good place to eat. Mm -hmm. And then when we were in Minneapolis at Game Fair, when y'all did the fighting deal... Yep. I felt like an old man had escaped the geriatrics world. Because <laughs> I, we walked around up there, and I'm like, "What the? What first of all, somebody need to mow the damn yard for sure." Skeeters, Zach sucked. They did. I looked around, and I'm like, "Supposed to mow all." That. I'm the only person over forty here. <clears throat> and then I wanted yeah. to watch the fight and stuff. No, Sean Stahl was there. No. Yeah. Okay, Stahl me and Sean there. were the two old guys. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Sean, for Andy to throw you in the bus. I mean, old oh, yeah. was I not supposed so to? That was a good time. It was, was the there. fight was ring fun. was good, and then you guys didn't show up the year after, and that's when we did the so we did the course. obstacle course. That okay. was cool. That's a long show. Two weeks is a long Fuck ass yeah. time. This this last year was our last year. Yeah, we're done. It, we're I done. Can, that's I, it. Just I think, because it's so much out of the shop. Uh, There's a lot of other stuff that went down there that was oh, not gotcha. awesome, Just but within that game fair, they need to it's make not it, the same. They need to make it a five day show if they want to do it that long. Start it on Wednesday afternoon, sure, and be done on Sunday. That's hard on vendors to be gone and have to come back. Well, I I never had to deal with them because we were the guest of boss when we were there. So I did that show twenty years ago though. Really? Yeah, we well, yeah. No, me we drove back. We flew there, and then me and Andy had to rent a car and drive home because we had we had to be on a podcast next day, and they canceled our flight at five thirty. Oh, that time, yeah, yeah, but. Uh, to drive up there and take all your shit, and then for four days to have nothing to do. Well, we go to North Dakota and go hunting. But it's an expensive trip with those extra four days, too. Always. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah, it's a very expensive deal. For us, the only reason we were able to do it, even with the split weekends, was because we were able to stay with Gavin. We didn't right. have hotel costs or travel yeah, costs. It's fairly minimal because we would drive back and forth. It's and an expensive trip. Like, no. It was it's just a bar tab. Yeah, I'm, yeah for you guys. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine right, that now. wrecked us. Can you, what... Have you done any 10-day shows? Like, back a long time ago, I did uh, the Minneapolis show, mm -hmm. and I did Harrisburg. Mm -mm. Harrisburg, I really liked. It was like, it was cool to see all the Amish people there, and Wait. the Amish kids is what's funny. You see this Amish kid with his little starter beard and shit like Blake Poppy has, <laughs> and then... Does anybody need a beer? Still growing. And, and, uh, no, I'm good. And then the, the then they'd, they'd have a I'll go for one. girl sure. with them. Why not? Wearing a Deaf Leopard in the fridge. A t-shirt and a mini skirt and stuff. There's a and then you'd see the Amish Stone. girl in her little 13-year-old Amish outfit with some kid with with the rock and roll shirt on. I mean, it was just <laughs> completely... Oh, yeah. It was just <laughs> where they're dating outside of their religion. But mm -hmm. We'd that, love to do that show. That's a good show. Harrisburg would be fun. It's the same thing. It's logistics for us. Logistics We're in Washington, man. So, like, that's a long way. We don't know anyone in the area to help save stuff. costs on a house. Oh, it's fucking expensive. Yeah. But th that's one show I've tried to talk darkest. Man, we ought to go. I'll go with you in for, for 10 sure. days. But I hadn't been there a long time. When I Vendors went, we, well. we went and looked around and did some other things. I went to Hershey, Pennsylvania. I got okay. the kid that went with me that worked for me. He would do, I'd do the booth in the morning. He'd go out and party. He'd work and he'd go out at night and I'd, I'd get up in the morning and go. So we'd go different times. And it wasn't, 
I like, we got to do some different things. Plus a buddy of mine was in the hotel business. So I had, didn't cost me nothing for hotel for 10 days. That makes a big difference. Cause yeah. since you get two hotel rooms, that's $5,000 for 10 days. Well, Christ. And then you got yep. breakfast, you have food, lunch, everything. You, lunch you're eating there, dinner, you're going out. Yep. It's then the bars, well, our bar tab is, you know, usually pretty cheap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's an expensive deal, but no it, I did, I did dinner. Denver, I did was a long weekend, I think. But I did Harrisburg and I did Minneapolis one time, and it was a ten day. Is it Sacramento in there? I, I four ISC. days. ISC. It's only four days now. I think it used to be a ten day show a long time ago too. What's the Salt Lake that. City one? Is it a four day show too? Yeah, I think so. Do they still have one? I think in the four days are good, but also what people have been doing now is starting on a Thursday or Friday and ending on a Saturday night. And Sunday you just go home. That's not bad either. No, because I feel like the Sunday crowds. You always like prepare for Sunday crowd. Is what it, you know everyone says, and so I think not having on Sunday because everyone is either family oriented church, they're doing something on that day, and going down to the expo is not like prime. Delta, for, I mean, a lot of families like for us, like Sunday is about the only day that we have, right? Like with young kids and shit, like Sunday is about no the only sports. day that we don't have something going on, mm -hmm. so they we just stay home. The the Delta, I like Delta at Little Rock more than I did hundred percent. Baton Rouge. Way now, more. I like Baton Rouge. The food going out to eat was nice, but we ate good in Little Oof. Rock too. But Bat I'd rather eat at Little Rock. But Baton Rouge Sunday was dead. And it rained all day, and we left. Fucking poor. But but it was not. It, there was no traffic Sunday. I think the biggest problem with the Delta show being that far down south is you didn't get the out of staters that come in. You had right. the people from Baton Rouge, the people from uh, New Orleans, and you know Louisiana. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh. it's six hours to go from the border down to Baton yeah. Rouge, I think. Oklahoma City will be a really good delta. Yeah. That would yeah, be a good. Absolutely. That will help us out because we're finally out of the cut down world and yeah. we can focus on the shit that we actually make. I wonder if, I wonder what will be after Oak City. Well, hopefully they have oh. it there for two years as long as everything goes well. See, I'd heard that they that were going to go back to Baton Rouge one more year for something. No, they, I, I, think, I think they canceled that pretty quick once they saw the logistics of even fucking hotel parking. Yeah. Oh, it was terrible. I forgot about that. Paid forty shit. bucks yes. to park across the street in a gravel parking lot. No, yeah. no security, no camera, no nothing. A night. The thing about it, they like they like to go to towns with high crime rates. So mm -hmm. Oklahoma City will be nice. Yep, It'll that's the good thing about uh, Squad Fest. Friday, yeah. Saturday, out. Sunday, you're back home, mm -hmm. ready to rock and roll on Monday. Yep. I yep. enjoyed the shit out of Squad Fest. It was great. Squad Fest is a good time. Well, I mean, it just sucks driving home. On you don't get in until. Fucking Monday morning, a right. lot of times. Your shit's on long. Monday. Yeah, and it's just Monday. We still don't get until Monday. <laughs> yeah, y'all yeah. got to drive forever wherever you go. We're yeah. going next somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't home. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this year we'll be back. We'll be so we'll go to Baton Rouge. No, Baton Rouge, excuse me, excuse me. Okay. We'll start in Die Bomb, a Squad Fest. Then we'll go to Delta, and then we'll drive to Memphis, and then we'll go home. So you're be gone three weeks. So three you're, weeks you're on the road. Y'all gonna come stay here when you're at Oak City because it's only two and a half hour drive per every day. No, I'm talking about for that <laughs> those days between days in between five days between. So maybe, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't care. I but, would love to, but you're welcome to stay here okay. at the lodge. Cut I you, didn't. I didn't thought that far ahead. Cut your hotel down by for sure four or five days. It's only two and a half hours from here. Yeah, it's Oak City. Yep. Nice. How is the city? Oklahoma City is a yeah, nice fun. place. Is it? It's probably if I had to pick a big city to live at in the United <laughs> States. I mean, a big city with a half million or more people. Seattle. No, oh. <laughs> I take Seattle. Yeah, I, I would like take sometimes. Seattle's weather. Oh, oh yeah, fuck I would, that. I Why? wouldn't bother me. I fucking hate the rain. Why? You I live in West in Texas. Move here. Oh, I saw it on Sunday. And well, mile. but uh, it's it don't rain that much. It's just misty and dreary all the time. He's, he's right. Every up. mild, mild, like just mild, in between here. It's not. It's the just extremes. like never just like cold, cold or hot, hot. It's just like oh, we're gonna stay in the middle and fucking right. rain on you. That's how you and torture then, people, though. Let's cook them at a hundred and then knock them down <laughs> to zero. Down we, down someone that's lived shit. in West Texas your whole life, you'd take that, wouldn't you? Yeah. In a heartbeat. Have what? Seattle. Pain told me. Fuck yes. Pain told me. He said that's one thing I'm gonna miss is I'm gonna miss the summers here. The summers in oh, the, Seattle are nice, and he said. And he said, "I'm also going to miss the the dreary stuff because he grew up here. He's never used to it, so he sure. likes it." I, I want to live sun. somewhere that has seasons. Yep, like it's mm. 75 degrees out there right now. It is. Man, you say that and then you do it, and you're like, no, what I the just fuck? I love it. I just want something. <laughs> yeah. I, just want, I just want variables other than hot all the time. Well, then take a winter vacation and go play in the snow for a week. Yeah, when you we... live in it for three months, you're like, this sucks. No, <laughs> when the snow drops seasons, in November. Though. But y'all have y'all have, <laughs> we have in September. Y'all cool off and it's nice again. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. we don't have that. We go from hot to cold, <laughs> and then it goes back cold and hot again. Like mm -hmm. Thanksgiving, I think our high is going to be like 38 now here, which is great. Oh, we wow. need it for waterfowl. Correct. Christmas is going to happen. No, it's what it's saying. 38. 
But but then again, December fourth, it'll be eighty again. Mm-hmm. People opened it, their pools last Christmas or two Christmases ago. Yeah, yeah I remember Christmas. that. You Jump, guys yeah. all. Yeah, I remember hearing. What jumping to mind? Mine's nasty. Ninety degrees so on Christmas. It's right. Like, what? Where the fuck are we? No, I'd say our seasons are pretty nice up in the Northwest. That they are. Yeah. Yes. And we have the drier climate. I hate the humidity. But anyways, back to Oak City. Oak City's a very nice town. Yeah. Not a lot of crime. Cool. Red. The whole. I think that every county in Oklahoma voted red. Well, I God. like. I, and I like Oklahoma City. It's not a bad place. Bar night good. I don't. Bricktown life. You have somebody else that go to Trappers D. You go out. Place to eat. Michelle wants to go out. We don't go bar hopping though. In Oklahoma City. No, hell no. <laughs> so I saw. So Andy's I, the bar hopper in Oklahoma. Asking about his Tulsa experience at Bass Classic. Yeah, we just rode the scooters. It was fun. Nice scooters. You went to a gay bar. Oh, those it, are great. Inadvertently. Yeah. In my defense, Hunter Little, who's out here right now, and I can bring him in. He is from Tulsa, so uh-huh. we're all there. So he knew. Yeah, we're like, hey, what bars should we hit up? And he's like, there's a, there's like a two blocks, and he's like, that's where all the bars are. He's like, you go here. I think it was called Reds. He was like, go here next, and then like there's one bar down there. He's like, I can't remember the name, but it's like it's got like an old school arcade in it and shit on the wall, TVs on the wall, and it's 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 fun also. So I was like, cool. So we go to Reds first. It's me, Wyatt, uh, Hot Wheels, Jack. Uh, who else is there? Might have just been us three. Oh, oh, uh, Caitlin from Bosses, mm-hmm. now husband, Connor. She was afraid of tornadoes, so she stayed in. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it would. So we go to Reds, and you go in, and like they have metal detectors. I've never been anywhere where they wand you before you go in. Oh, whoa. And then I walk in, and it is the most bizarre scene. Like, my mind cannot wrap my head around what's going on. Like, there are... There are old school bikers playing pool. There are black chicks twerking their ass to whatever music is going on in their head, and they're getting filmed. There's like a black tranny in the corner. Reds is all over the place. So we go to so we have a drink there. uh, Go to another place. Jack felt at home at Reds, by the way. Like loved it. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a war veteran. Seen some shit. This is him. This is yeah. He's cool with it. Has that coke the whole time. Go to another bar. (laughs) It's okay. And then we go to this arcade place, and we're standing there, and we get a drink, and um, so we're, like, standing in the way of, like, the bar back to take the ice out, and they're like, hey, hey, excuse me, honey, can y'all move out of the way? We're like, yeah, sure. And then, like, we're looking around, and Jack's like, we're at a gay bar. I'm like, no. No. He was like, fucking look around, dude. Like, it's... We're at a gay bar. He's like, did you not just see how that bar back asked us to move out of the way? He's like, if we're at a straight bar. They're telling you, get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> like, they're not asking you. They're He's telling you. He's not wrong. So then, like, we started looking around, and, like, the Oklahoma flag is a pride flag, and oh. there's rainbows everywhere, and I was, looked at Jack, and I'm like, oh, we're here. I think we're at a gay bar. <laughs> it was fun, though. They yeah, had, you know, they they had, had arcades. Time. Yeah. Arcades. They had arcade games. games. and Did you yeah. dance? No. Jesse didn't dance? Jesse wasn't there. Oh. Where what? Uh, she didn't get to go. It was just, yeah, it was just, just, me, and, just yeah, me and Andy, Andy went, but nice. only Andy went to the only gay bar. Andy went to the gay bar. Yeah, I, I've me had a good Dirk, time at gay bars. Me and bars. Dirk went back to <laughs> the hotel. It was a fabulous <laughs> time. Yeah, it was a fabulous time. The drinks are usually cheap. Yeah, usually everyone's really nice. Yeah, not a lot of fights. Oh, and when we went in, it was like a four hundred pound dude with a pink mohawk so, was the doorman. Nice, perfect. So we should get we that went, away a little bit. We, we went from getting wanded just two bars down to pink four hundred pounder sitting on a bar stool. Uh, he was kind of shocked we were going in, to be honest with you. Did he, Pony Club. Are you sure go? you want to be here? <laughs> did, did he grab your knife, or did you not have it with you? Uh, I can't remember what I did with my Where knife. were we at when you put your knife in your boot? Nashville. Yeah. Oh, Nashville. Watch that camera. There you go. Can't take Trevor anywhere. Can't take him anywhere. But, you know, he's not one of the people. Hey, man. We're always on his schedule. That's right. Yeah, Stacy Coker was like, I didn't get, Stacey Coker was like, you all right? What you Got doing? it good, huh? It's been there for three years. Mm, I know. <laughs> But bit me now. Ouch. We were going into a bar in Nashville, and they were patting you down. Stacey Coker's like, I'm not giving him my fucking blade. Shoved Uh-oh. it in his boot before I, they got to him. Stacy's kind of extreme. I haven't been around Stacy much, but the couple times I have, I've enjoyed the shit out of him. But, like, man, he is, he I is wouldn't Stacey wanna, Coker. I wouldn't want to have to squabble with him. Mm. No, that old he, man hurts you. He just jumped in the middle of a fight. We're going to the bar. Fight breaks out, and like he just <laughs> right in the fucking middle yeah. of it. On Nashville, you fucking boys need to settle down. Oh my god! 
We ain't, putting up, we ain't putting up that shit We're here. We come down here to have good time. Here. <laughs> babysit you fuckers or something like that. <laughs> it's like, dude, you get I mean, shanked I, here on Broadway. Yeah, man. I just no. I'll let, let them do the thing. Then them we saw the we saw the world's worst wing woman. You got poor girl. She's like hunched over. Doesn't look like she's breathing. Just vomit going everywhere. And like her friends are just like oblivious to the fact. And they're trying to go to another bar and just fucking, leave Teresa over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, she fine. does this every time. Fucking Teresa, every time we try to go out. <laughs> Is this the same woman you got me on? You got on to me for trying to help her? Yeah, leave her yes. alone, Jeff. I said, listen. I said they've got get, friends. I said y'all need they to got call. friends. I said y'all need to help her. I said you want me to call nine one one? And he's like, well, don't get in other speaks. people's business all the time. Has he not heard Janice Joplin? You know, <laughs> I'm gonna throw it up and dying. <laughs> So I was like, hey, do you need some help? He, what are you trying to do? Trying to help? Well, yeah, it's the way I, I roll. Okay, roll. actually legitimately trying to help. The best part of that night, you never have met Ray Ray, have you? No. Mm-hmm. Ray Ray was the dancing machine that night at that bar we went to. He danced with every girl in the place. He doesn't take no for an answer because he doesn't give her many yeses. <laughs> so he was all over <laughs> it. Are you talking about Mexico? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, freaking no. No, in uh, Nashville. Oh. We had a lot of fun. Ray Ray's a lot of fun. Yeah. Which one's Ray Ray? Mags is buddy. Big guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, Oh, he He was it. in St. Louis? Yeah, he's come to St. Louis two years ago with him. And he was at Delta. He was at, he was Delta. at Delta. Yeah. Okay. He don't buy nothing. He's a real tightwad. He'll guy. walk around all three days. Oh. The you carpet Ray Ray. salesman. The carpet guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's his other buddy? Uh, One that looks kid. like Honey Bear. Oh, uh, Bear. Bear? He's going to be here in a minute. They're coming here to have supper tonight. Oh, no, Bear and Mags and Chris. Else. Chris ones looks like what? What's what's uh, what is uh, Mama June's ex husband's name? Sugar Bear, Honey Bear. Hmm. Uh, God, what's his? Didn't oh, meet man. him. Bouncing all over. Oh, Andy's at the gay bar with seen, Sugar Bear and Ray Ray. Never seen uh, Mama <laughs> June. Uh, what was the name of that show? Honey Boo Boo. Honey, Honey Boo Boo. The dad. Yeah, yeah. Whatever the husband's name was. This guy looks just like him, so I call him that. Like, we were somewhere, and I was like, listen, do you not recognize him? And I was like, oh, I love your show. <laughs> Someone said it? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I mean, we had fucking everybody thinking that uh, Stacy was Stacey, Chris Stapleton. Yeah, that was that pretty good. That guy brought us that bottle of bourbon. I feel so bad. Oh, you didn't oh, know? You told me. Oh, yeah, my God, that guy brought that good. bottle, bring a bullet bourbon. This is for you, Mr. Mr. Johnson. Oh, yeah, would you get up and, like, play yeah, a few yeah, notes? Yeah, and he's like, I can't do it. Sorry, boy. Bro, hurts. That's why I'm not on tour right now. That poor boy. That was it a nice boy, bottle? That part, yeah. That guy probably made five, six, seven hundred dollars in tips. We all felt bad. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Johnson. They apologized the first night. I went up and told the manager, said, listen, we'd really appreciate it. We don't need a lot of paparazzi. Can y'all keep us around? I said, Mr. Johnson's here to have a good time. We don't want Oh, well, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you would be the one to set that all up. Oh, I had a good time. Absolutely. They'd be okay with that. That's too fun. You're pretty man. quick on your shoes. It was pretty. It was a good time, mm-hmm. really good time. But anyways, Ray Ray was there, and Ray Ray was a lot of fun. What show? That was at Turkey. That was at Turkey. No. Yeah. yeah, it was. It was Nashville. I was missed it? out on Nashville. Yeah. It was at Turkey last year at Nashville. Somebody's phone's going off. It might be mine. me. It's not mine. Somebody's trying to buy a house. No, I wish. How is the house not sales slowing down? Are they get, getting back? Can grow it's slowed now? down in August, September, October. We're really hot. Election, everything slowed down. Everyone's like, well, what's going to happen after elections? Like, fuck, I don't, like, no one knows. I think it'll There's go no now. Crystal ball. Now I think everyone, if you believe in what's going to happen, then I think everyone's going to be, especially on our, our side of the state, it's going to be opening up back more. We just got to wait for the rates to come down a little Are the bit. liberals running y'all over there now? No. Not uh, real bad. I, I, no. I mean, Post Falls, you know, Post Falls and Coeur d'Alene probably saw the biggest growth when it came to Seattle folks. Uh, California moving up, but not the Spokane. Are they people that are leaving, though? Because a lot of Texas is people that have moved here have been people here moving because they're sick of all the liberal shit. That's I would say why. a lot of people that moved up, that I moved up from California or Seattle are definitely just over either that lifestyle that they've had in the Seattle, California area, and they just want to have what we have on the east side. Payne tells me that the traffic is worse in Seattle than anywhere he's ever been. Oh, yeah. He said you can't get away. He says it's not like in Texas where you can go off a mile. No. He said it's all no. mountains and water. He's, that's what he says. It doesn't terrible. matter. You can go on a side road, and that road's fucking balls deep. In yeah, cars. He, he says the traffic is absolutely terrible yeah. there. North and south, east, west, it doesn't matter which way you go. It and is then, the anthill. Yeah. He did say he's going to miss the shit out of the seafood there when he moves back mm. to oh, Texas. Yeah. And it's fucking good. You can't go wrong there. No. And this is fresh. Yep. Yeah. It's amazing. Pike's Market. We'll send you a fish overnight. You can have it here tomorrow. Yep, that's right. I would. I would go. When I, we're going to go back to Seattle 
in April. Me and Michelle are going, and I'm going go to go see the down. cabin. I, I'm going to take you up on that. I'm going to Kamala that thing off it's of there. you. Yeah, I bet. But we're going to go to. Uh, <laughs> I want to go to Victoria Island while I'm there. Oh yeah. I need to go get my damn passport redone too. Mine's expired. Jesus. When are you going? We're going in April. Ooh, that'd be nice. We, a little me, rainy. Me and Michelle are flying out. And Michelle then we're going to, Michelle and I are flying out. Thank you, Blake. And then <laughs> we are going to do four or five days there. And then I'm going to ride back with Payne and bring all his shit back. And Michelle oh, will he's fly. Done. He's done. And Michelle will, Michelle's going to fly home and I'm going to, and I'll ride back with him. Oh, that's a, you need a GoPro in that. But by about, I don't know how you're going to go. Michelle get on the plane by herself. No, by about fucking Colorado. Y'all are going to be sick of you. Or Utah. Fuck. I'm assuming Jeff is gonna be driving. They're gonna be bitching. Why would Does he have bitch? a car there? Yeah. Or Y'all home. are gonna be yelling at each We're other. We're not taking his car. We're taking a U-Haul to hook his car in the back of it. Hmm. Me and Payne are a lot of lack in some ways. Jeff. That's almost worse. Jeff, I'm telling you, I'm around you two at the holidays. You got about two days. Oh, I agree with you. Yeah. Now I be, love now be in the ass time. Huh? There's a lot of ass time. Yes. Yeah. I love to see pain to death, but about two or three days, and I'm ready for him to go back fucking home. Sure. I really am. It just wears me out. Right. Because he's, he's testing you. I don't know if he's testing <laughs> he's me. Test. He just gets just on my damn nerves. Testing. It just yeah. wears me out. <laughs> I'm telling you, you just, just wait until Arch gets older. You wait and oh, see. Oh, I just did it to my dad for fucking 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> like I know. It just, it's, it, like when he would say something like, mm, I'm just going to push it the other way just that much more. Reese does that to me. Yep. I've Already? noticed more and more Reese is becoming quite the smart ass. He's Archie been, tells me where to sit. Yeah. Uh, does Jordan do that? Did Izzy do that? Oh, it, it, Izzy's 12, man. She's a, now. She's, no, no. I know now. She not you're alive like, no more. Years ago, I saw, yeah. like, Izzy, yeah. I don't exist. <laughs> back in the day when Izzy was born, she was in like Trevor sit. Trevor yeah. sit. No. Archie's like sit. Sit, sit here now. <laughs> you should probably tell, stop telling your kids hey, to sit places. You, but, you learn shit, it. I guess. Here, here's I don't. <laughs> you, your daughter's 12? Yes. Yeah, she's smarter than you already. Oh, for sure. Andy's son is 10, and he's become that way, I've noticed, because he never has an answer. Like He does not know the word yes, sir, or no, ma'am, or yes, ma'am. Hmm. It's. I have a guy that works here that's 18 years old from Louisiana. It's about the same way. They don't ever know how to just, yes, okay, that's what I'll do. There's a reason why they don't do that. Mm, always, oh, yeah. Haley calls me out on that shit. Oh, why, well, you know, just Trevor, just say sorry or say yes. I was like, well, this is the reason. I don't want to fucking hear the reason why. <laughs> well, to me, that makes sense. Yeah. I just want to tell you, this is why my brain's thinking like that. <laughs> She's like, I don't fucking care. And she doesn't. Not at all. <laughs> no. She just wants me to say sorry or yeah. Or no. Would you be shocked if Reese said yes, sir, and just did what you said one time? He'd be playing me for something. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. He's up to something else. Oh, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, for sure. yeah, if Archie turned around and looked at me at two and a half, he's like, yeah, dad. Now, I, th- I think when Jameson gets ten, Jameson will. Uh, he's got that public education, man. I'm starting to see. A, I'm starting to see him go downhill. <laughs> I'm starting to see him go downhill. <laughs> <laughs> starting to see that behavior. Kind You're of. on school board. You can change that. Yeah. So he's geez. been indoctrinated he's already. Been, he's been institutionalized. <laughs> no, jeez. Half a half a semester in and starting to see some behavior issues. <laughs> what grades he in? Kindergarten. Kindergarten. I read to him last week. They came to the house and we did them in the pumpkin patch. And I read a couple of books from school and stuff. He was pretty well behaved. But the mother kids asked a thousand questions. He's right. very well behaved, but there's just there's been a couple things recently where I'm just like, mm. I didn't see that in July, yeah. but now Uh-oh. here we are towards the end, of the end of the first semester, and hmm, those other kids, other kids are teaching that exactly. shit. Exactly. Yep. I remember well. kindergarten. Well, they they, <laughs> no, learn, they really. get that sass. They get that. Like I saw that on YouTube. Like. No, you didn't. <laughs> that's got to be the biggest thing that's changed. Like we YouTube? have YouTube or oh, Instagram oh yeah. or TikTok. Facebook, MySpace, any of that shit. It goes both ways because they learn horrible shit. And then there's kids like Jordan, you know, mm-hmm. my son. Oh, we'll go out fishing one time. And then we come back the next week and go fishing. He's like he's tying his own knot. I'm like, where the hell did you learn to tie a double pits? And he was like, oh, I saw it on YouTube. Mm. Yeah. There are, a YouTube there, education is great. There's it's a lot crazy. of good things that you can use. hundred percent. Hey, I was, uh, where was I at? I was doing something the other day. And a guy was looking at YouTube on a video of how to do something. I'm trying. I wish mm-hmm. I could think of where I was. And I'm like, what the hell are you doing? I mean, he was have, YouTubing him. He YouTube was you, no, he was YouTubing someone doing something he was getting paid to do. And I cannot remember where I was at. And and, and it was like a contractor or something. Yep. 
and they were looking at a YouTube on how to do something. I'm thinking, God damn. Here's a guy working on my plumbing at my house. It wasn't my house, oh, though. I mean, I somewhere. have the patch that says, like, YouTube certified machine. <laughs> yes. <it's> like, <laughs> mine it. says, call Alex. <laughs> call Alex. But I hate to put stuff together. Like, at Christmas time, do, Michelle, do not buy anything that says some Requires assembly, assembly required. <laughs> Way because that lie. means I hate that shit. Yep. But if you get on YouTube and do it, it's not easy. And you know what's funny? A TikTok lot of things that becoming are, the new thing. A lot yes. of things that are a pain in the ass to put together. Once you put one of them together, the second one's fucking breeze. Way to go! But yep. that YouTube channel takes away all the guesswork on that. Stuff. I made a pumpkin arch for Haley. On oh yeah, TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yep, killed I saw it. That. What a motherfucker! It was. It looks easy well, on TikTok for me and my mom to go do it. Yeah. It Did was, you do the plastic pumpkins that you painted? Yeah. Or? I didn't paint them. No, I went to Walmart, bought forty-two pumpkins, <laughs> drilled the holes, and I got the half-inch pipe, and it wasn't strong enough, and I didn't have the right base. Where'd you get pumpkins at? And my mom is Walmart. Walmart. Oh, I bet you paid a lot of money. Sixty-nine Pla cents. It wasn't bad. Plastic pumpkins. How big of pumpkins are they? Plastic oh, pumpkins. Not oh, real okay, pumpkins. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we need right. fucking steel going up in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but my mom, I'm I'm building this arch, and I'm like, mom, I just need to hold you, like, uh, hold the one side, and she's sitting there like turning the pumpkins so they all face the right way. I go, mom, it's not even fucking connected. Like this thing's gonna move ten times, and she's like, well, I'm just trying to help out a little bit. That was the that was probably the worst partner to have. Yeah, this, this is, is the guy that, that I saw. This is the one I wanted. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, no, this guy's. You just set them all out like that. Very simple. Yep. mm Hmm. Takes yeah, see, concrete. I didn't do the concrete part. Uh oh. Well, so yeah. you didn't follow directions. I went to Home Depot, though. <laughs> well, I couldn't find a pumpkin that big. I that was my honestly, that was my biggest issue is not having the base. So I used the Home Depot bucket with gravel. Yeah, it's orange. And then I bought the wrong bit, and I'm sitting there. I'm like, this doesn't fucking work like this guy's doing. And I'm and I'm sitting there spinning. I'm, I have a too big of a bit. Mm -hmm. What's what? that fucking thing called? The hole saw. Hole saw. Thank you. Call Alex. Yep. <laughs> I, I, almost, I almost did. So I, called, yours, I called did, Stefan one did, time, and I was like, if, if he can't fucking answer this, I'm screwed. Did yours look like that? Look at how fast he did that. Mine was all no. Mine was all orange. I didn't. Well, I didn't have time to go spray paint. Are you fucking kidding me. He bought those. They were like, oh that. yeah, he no. Walmart like had one color only in Idaho. What's I thought about doing this this year. I'm glad I didn't. It's not, hearing it's your not story. terrible. It's not a minute. The in, base. It doesn't take a minute and three seconds to do it. Like no, you, you can just, add another zero to that, and then <laughs> if you include your mom or mother in law, you add another fucking zero to that. How, he looks like he's having a ball doing it. I had a great time. <laughs> yeah, that's what everybody wants to see on TikTok. You Some know, guy just throwing shit throwing across the yard. Fuck, you yeah, know what? Me. My neighbors are outside the window, like, "What the fuck is this guy doing?" And the whole thing is falling over. I'm trying to zip tie it to my house. You know why he's having a good time? Four hundred and seventy-three thousand people watch it. Stoked. How much money do you no, think he made no, off that? No, you're wrong, Six Jeff. Bucks. I thought it said four hundred seventy-three thousand on the up there. We on the seventeen three. saved it. He's got oh. seven point six million, million likes on it. So a whole lot more than. So what how much money do you think he made off that? Uh, I don't even know. It's like it's a ten grand. How does it work? It's ten, a ten G's. It's a dollar per ten thousand views. I, I don't believe. have to worry about that. That would be seventy six thousand dollars he made off. I that. probably would have done that if I had the whole video. Absolutely, I'd have done it naked for that much money. He got fifty five million views on that. That's fifty five. Yeah, 55, then I watched the ones to the right. Uh, that was that was okay. Um, there was other people that just like skipped the whole step. I'm like you're fucking useless. Can you imagine when you went to do what? What's your dad do for a living? Oh, he makes YouTube videos. <laughs> I mean, it's a real job. My dad's fucking accountant. No offense towards your wife, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Somebody's got a real job. They got a real job, you know. They still say the same thing. When you're like, yeah. what do you do? I make yeah. calls. They're yeah. like, uh -huh. that's yeah. cute. Is that a real thing? Okay. But How is it working for Trevor? That guy's, <laughs> that guy's making $50,000 a video. Is yeah, that what I, the math yeah. is on that? Yeah, fifty five. If you get in thousand dollars for every, well, a dollar for every what? I think 10, it's, I think it's a dollar for every ten thousand. Do do fifty five million, and see what that would be. I think it'd be fifty five thousand dollars. Wow, mm. that was worth for, whatever for Halloween. Dude, dude, whatever pumpkin. headache, what, he, whatever headache he had. I could have like, gotten bigger if you would have seen it. the struggles I went through. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Wait, you, you think if he was making fifty five thousand dollars a video though, he wouldn't be doing it with a fucking Ryobi drill? Like, but that's you how figure. you that's how you that's how you get to the people. We all use Ryobi drills. I think he's making. Five, but I, DeWalt. Don't. I had to wall. <laughs> I think he's making five thousand a video. Then that's probably no. yeah. More I think that math. Well, he was pretty fucking happy. So well, five thousand dollars for a fucking video that he spent three hundred dollars. Not I even. can't do. It. I've got the zeros messed up. I think it's fifty five hundred dollars. I think I, I spent. I think I spent like a uh, hundred and two dollars because I fucked up a couple of pumpkins. Fifty five million. million. Well, he had to turn yeah. the. What phone do I have so to divide this? It's by. ten thousand. But by, by ten thousand, and then you add a dollar for each one of them that you get. Divided by ten thousand. Uh huh. Fifty five hundred. Fifty five hundred. Yeah, yeah, times a dollar. Fifty five hundred dollars. Yep. For yeah, probably that something fucking. that cost him five hundred dollars to not do. Even, no, it was and like it, maybe a hundred bucks. 
Well, he's PC, not a cheap ass he, like oh, you. Fuck. That's why he's he still of, got the right of well, he's, the he's part of the people. Put his list exactly. out. He, he should have put his list out on how he did it. Okay. No, he just showed us real quick. The materials list. Did you listen it's to this shit harder. over here? Yeah. He's explaining Pope to a guy Jesus. making fifty five hundred dollars. <laughs> I've got, I have got the best video. You should have been in my office. We were working on the van. Okay. Trevor goes and buys a cabinet to go in the fucking trailer. Okay. I go to Home Depot to go buy this shit. He goes to Home Depot, buys this cabinet, rips it apart. Directions come, he's like, oh shit, these are supposed to be labeled. Doesn't matter. Everything was labeled. <laughs> I just moved it all to the side of the <laughs> van. All the labels like, oh yeah, it's all right here. Here's, We're good. He's building the damn thing, digs out the ratchet, puts the ratchet in there. You know how a ratchet works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you have Trevor's tension, just spinning the whole fucking ratchet. There's no tension. Like you can't go the back. You can't go reverse but to fucking make the. I'm, <laughs> I'm filming him doing this, and then I look over at Stefan, and Stefan's just going. It's not how you use a ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's going to be perfect. Oh, That'll be next week's reel. It'll be good. Fuck him. Trevor building the trailer. Can I have one of those? Yeah, that's not how you build a ratchet. <laughs> okay. That's not, <laughs> how, that's you not how you work that's a ratchet. Not, not how you use a ratchet. We got to go pretty quick. Oh, we got to go scout. Okay. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, you got the new duck call out. Oh, it's the last one. Bryce said, don't ever take the last one. It's bad luck. Oh, yeah, but he's a pitcher in oh, Major League Baseball. He's a pitcher. You're a goose guy. We don't We don't need. We don't care. Future author. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need Price good luck elder. on our side. No, we got it. Um, <laughs> Success. Today was a lot of fun. I'm, glad we, I'm glad we Thanks got Thanks for that. having us down. I'm glad we yeah, got yeah, that glass. I'm awesome. glad we could bring Alex yeah, down was, to Old Texas. This was awesome. Man of the people. First time. Incredibly cool to be here. I'm Man glad you come. People. Hope you come back and see us again. I'd love to. That I hope we have normal weather next year and because this has been a real cluster of a, week, of a couple of days. because The drive-in was something unreal. It's pretty cool. What do you mean? A lot of rain. Oh, wasn't rain? expecting that. Yeah, rains in Texas. You're from Seattle. Does it? You'll be fine. That spin we got was pretty cool today. Yeah. The spin was rad. That was a good that was a good spin. We got that one dumb one to do his thing. Did you did you appreciate getting to hunt around Hector, uh Nacho, Libre, uh whatever Julio? Name? Jose? Jose. Jose. Arturo. <laughs> okay. We have to do it. So we're out there, we're Constant in the blind, and Trevor's trying to talk to Jose. <laughs> <laughs> We're calling him Snacks. Everybody's incorporating the Is that the not nicknames. a great nickname? Love it's a perfect it. nickname. It well, so I thought Jose was another nickname. You do it. The man of the peasantry over here, right? He oh, literally man. walks up to the kid and he goes, so why do they call you Jose? <laughs> and the kid kind of, the kid looks a little bewildered for a second, looks around and goes, I mean, it's kind of my name. My, no, no, like, no, no, oh, no, no, shit, no, 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 no. My dad's Mexican. <laughs> and then so I thought he was just like going on with the joke. And I'm like, and Bryce and I were saying there, Alex is right there. And I'm like, not catching on to what he's fucking meaning. <laughs> well, si, when they, your, <laughs> si, well, my why mom and dad why gave me the name. You Jose? <laughs> I my gotta name. ask my, you gotta ask my dad. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> my dad was, wasn't that's it Bryce that was like, name. let me yeah. explain when a man and a woman meet. Yeah. Come I love on. Snacks. Yeah, that, is, that is his government name. I nicknamed him Snacks. And then <laughs> I, got him. I thought it was just another fucking nickname. You walk in here, everyone's got a nickname. Like 10 of them. Yep. Well, you just thought Jose was one of them. The, other ones. the funny thing is, is that we started calling him Ar Arturo. I named him Arturo one day. I don't know why the hell it was Arturo. And then Brady that's in there, the, the pretty naive child who goes strip to strip club. clubs. Oh, actually, yeah, my he, hero. He codes contact stripper in there. He goes... <laughs> Arturo, I said, yeah. I said, you know, it means Fumunda. Huh? I said, you know, like Fumunda cheese. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I've never had that. Never had that. <laughs> We're like, what? You don't know? And Reese goes, you know, Fumunda. And he goes, no. And I said, you don't know. If, I said, Fumunda means Arturo. And Arturo goes, I really don't think that's what the word, for. I don't think that's how you say Fumundo in Spanish. So anyways, the kid had to look up. He did not, he'd never heard the. He had to go to Urban Dictionary to see what Fumundo cheese was. <laughs> oh, I don't know where, God. these kids are getting younger and younger every year. And like a lot of, a lot of my stuff just doesn't, doesn't work anymore. No. It's I thought Fumundo right cheese was You're pretty. I thought Fumunda cheese was pretty safe. It's not a thing. Vanilla. Now it's a fresh, fresh mouth. You know what Fumunda cheese yeah, fresh, means? Fresh, fresh, what were the what, what were the, the Jimbo knows. <laughs> Jimbo was a fresh, fresh mouth. That fresh mau mau. Fresh mau mau. Yeah. Fresh mau mau on the two o three. Two o three. All right, we gotta get out of here. We gotta go scout. Thank right, you. We gotta go scout. God bless you. Thanks, boys. Thank you guys for Absolutely. Pacific. We appreciate you seeing here. Bye. Watch for deer. Hold that desk.